Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Monday, number three day for this month of July, 2023. Happy Country Sunday. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, Mr. No Koni Lukong, wuna welcome to our daily podcast. A program where they bring una the truth, where they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of Ambazonia, as today na day for resistance, they we all man in the Sudan for house, all bike people them and moto people they stop for inside their house. May we observe this day one day in a week for sure say we want separation and independence and for demonstrate them publicly because now the only way we be left for our public for demonstrate and express their aspiration for become an independent country so we salute all man for ground zero and our people them as they observe this monday ghost town across our national territory the monday ghost town for last week it will be very very impressive for place the way people they be even try for violate ghost town small small because they the one play we don't see how we all man it don't come together especially for instance dop i'll be very impressed with the images and for last week from dop how we all man in that close shop all man that she done for house even for bengui with all the terrorist tactics them and illegal tactics with this criminal mr jinda lawrence he did bring up for instance bengui all man for bengui they ran there for one foot for obey lockdown ghost town every monday for send a message to the international community and la republic du cameroon say all we for ambazonia we want independence we want freedom even for instance momo and for Ndian, ghost town it will be very effective and i want to congratulate our people for demonstrating this resilience and also for tell our forces them as i be tell them say when i uplift that ban against brasseries it will already make me the relationship between our people them and our forces them make it be very good and the feedback it just be so wonderful especially for instance bamenda our population are more happy the soldiers feel more free no money the fears of man because each time you get some point of contention where it go against nature something will be wrong it only bring a conflict and it only compromise the security of our most treasured ones the ambazonian forces so we'll be very happy with the way things that they go and we'll intensify our engagement internationally for make sure say make our people them will benefit make the masses make our territory he achieve the objective for this war when an outright independence for our territory first thing first la republic du cameroon now is coming country new data will then be released by some agency where they call an acaps their briefing we did for this humanitarian office for united nation for yaoundé it then published a result where it shows the cameroon government the ministry of health it tell there was a cholera outbreak. It increased now increase for La Republic. But we will know say there is no evidence. Say cholera outbreak, it does still continue and it be done stop long time. What another one will be there for inside Victoria? The one will be here for inside Bafusam and for Douala. All those cases have stopped. But Cameroon government now is coming government. They the want to scam the international community for get donation. Say they want to take and for fight cholera outbreak. They also ask money for go buy vaccine for cholera from the united nation that one of a gift one of the characteristic them for this coming nation where they don't lost all credibility also the report card for the fews net now the price index where the check prices them for country them it don't come out also for la republic du cameroon it is show according to their statistics say la republic is still there in the red and are still a high zone will be risk for face farming with economics Wahala them where they be broadcasted according to the prices the way they come the prices the way for main commodity them for inside the republic it never yet drop you see them maintain high despite the fact say the la republic government they don't take a lot of loan them for try to stabilize their economy for make sure say they no fall inside a serious crisis the prices them nobody yet go down it still be high it still be at the red zone la republic du cameroon they import 90 percent of their rice from abroad and a very highly risk country where if it easily collapse because many of their 
their main import them where they sustain livelihood it be imported from other countries the way they don't get no control over so they be a very highly they see be highly risk for implosion as we then predict them and this measure them will not sure that they will be able for bring down the prices them big big news it come and big big history they come for we for ambazonia and i want make our people then listen very well especially our people them for indian our people them for manu our people them for acquire especially i want to congratulate our boys them for mavas day where they began implement this policy very well even though they can start beginning to do some rough work as soon as i know as i began contact farmer them for cocoa cotton and many other cash crop the way would you use them for export and this cash crop them for say me will establish a good link for export our cash crop na through nigeria this it then be one of the biggest successes we don't get them for our struggle as la republic du cameroon last week they ran deploy new additional border forces them and they retire for back nigeria for send troops and meet them block border for try for begin stop our export especially for cocoa and for beans them when i remember how they began carry some operation them cut some pick in their hand for try to stop our export of cash crop through the nigeria market those efforts have failed and our people them they ran hit our instruction and for ban export of our cash crop to la republic and basically 60% according to the information where they come up for la republic their ministry of the cash crop the way they be the export them through douala airport and douala seaport where they come from ambazonia it then be now they establish a straight line with nigeria where it then become sustainable it then become stable that means say 60% of our cash crop them where previously our farmer them our corporation them they be the sell them for la republic them me then go export them through douala it be the help their economy very much now they then begin the sell them for nigeria now almost permanently and i want to congratulate our farmers them this is really really great and we need to encourage them and to tell our soldier them me then continue to take action and for facilitate because as this trade it be the over go very well some of our forces they be see the over try for begin over tax farmer the way they do want selling for Nigeria. Make them no say any farmer where they carry cocoa for go sell them for Nigeria. Now a pass bullet where soldier it take them for shoot Cameroon military. So we need for facilitate and allow all cash crop them. Me they sell for Nigeria with the minimum possible contribution we we'll expect them from farmer them. It be very important. So La Republic the Ram begin cry this one in a very, very big way. They are even send troops them for their border points them for try to stop farmer the middle they sell cocoa in particular and other cash crop for inside Nigeria. Make we continue for do them so and make all our soldiers then they make sure say make no cash crop you know leave Ambazonia. The biggest camo will get away for do this work, the mountain lions, no matter how they talk, they go up and down. General Shagat Sagat in over change his position, in over take any action. And at a very big loophole that will get them and will pray say as they talk publicly me feel the pressure for noticing that things that way is so that they need to adopt them if we need to win this war we need to stop cdc we need to stop any export of cash crop to dwala we need to stop them absolutely if we actually need to win this war not only to win this war but to even apply the necessary pressure we will help with to preserve a pathway to independence. This is very, very crucial. And this one, a very big news way. They come out, it even show for Cameroon their statistic. And the thing where it happened, I say, when this thing did they appear for this report, them it affect the Cameroon their credit worthiness. It hit them for place where it hot. Even though, with all this good news for Ambazonia, one other sad news it come out again, it come for the international community concerning Cameroon their loan. Cameroon now, as we then tell now, they sustain their economy and their salarism purely 100% now from loan with the borrow them for the IMF. Because of our campaign and our fight against La Republic du Cameroon and the pressure where the international community if they put them against La Republic du Cameroon, they be then use this issue for borrow money, for pay salary for civil servants of La Republic as a big weapon against La Republic du Cameroon. So they be automatically renew Cameroon their loan because every month Cameroon gave a good borrow money that automatic renewal of those loan because they don't allow Cameroon to just collapse that way so they be there even suspend and say they're not going to automatically renew their loan 
they need to come back and prove see their government you know be corrupt they need to go through certain process before they get those loan but after that canadian talk as soon as we know those pressure they then be uplifted and that loan it not be approved this time even without the submission of the review process where they be used to go before so the imf the executive board they run do their full review for the extended credit facility and extended credit funds facility arrangement for Cameroon where they don't approve them 76 million disbursement for help the country for pay their salary them and for maintain the country make it no collapse they come out with the only recommendation where they talk them now say Cameroon need a sustained reform for create additional physical space for productive investment and social spending while maintaining debt sustainability and boosting growth and resilience nothing was mentioned anymore about any issue that arises as a result of the war that will apply pressure to la republic to cameroon this one are just part of those ramifications and fall out from the canadian pre-talks we will need to intensify our diplomacy for the americans the british the germans the french including the french through their parliamentarians for the most part and their governments to make sure me they understand say the need for apply pressure for la republic to cameroon and ambazonia he be ready for engage with them in a positive manner for resolve this issue so fellow ambazonian we need to intensify our activity on the ground in a more smart manner while making sure that we preserve the harmony between our population and our forces it be very critical at this stage of our liberation struggle we need to support our defender them for ground zero in any shape or form any money where it go for buy granite and for buy gun we need to encourage them and uh, for people then we they always wonder why are the talk are they still address the ego of sea me people they understand say any man we do for this struggle so long as you be a group for inside ambazonia you do talk on behalf of ambazonia then you are in the kitchen and you must smell smoke because the activity of every group affects every other group so yesterday dr chua yaba he done put out a statement he talked for ambazonia and say we'll not be afraid they'll not be afraid for lose this war they are not afraid of losing and i want to tell ambazonians and say that is the problem we have the ambazonian people them would not get the biggest opportunity where the world it not put them for we then tell we say this is a timeline this is a, something that is restricted that you may never ever have again they told us in a very clear and clean manner but yet because of politics because of ego we lose those opportunities because dr cho ayaba he wants to preserve his leadership so today they are writing a long long letter quoting human right violation here and there up and down that will not change anything the international community does not work like that seseko ayok tabi tasan wifred they began write all kind of letter them for international criminal court Charles Tiku, Barrister Charles Tiku, he didn't write all type of information for those international criminal court. We know if we teach the international community the crime the way La Republic the commit them for our territory, even past way to way they get them for their hand. Way to way we need for do them for be rational. If you are a leader, people the way they disagree with you, you your own you, your own solution now for find way for kill them. Find way for instigate me and kill their family. You go out and you blackmail your own biggest person who have given you credibility you lose credibility and respect even for the international community so why it be good for begin articulate these things and for the international community where would it do them on a day-to-day -day basis and we need to do it on even on a case-to-case -case basis but the idea where dr cho ayaba in the talk say you know be afraid for lose this war now the biggest danger that will get them for this our struggle because they are eliminate every single opposition for instance ambazonia or any alternative or any group where they, they want to do their own thing for their own way to preserve what his leadership and it will never work in ambazonia when i see yesterday for inside bamenda the force with the alpha group then carry them they not be even one for even tell them because also that they see the danger where they come up for the egg of sea we not intimidate all ambazonia them for social media space Try for assassinate our own brother them. When I feel say who will ever trust you, if you try for kill your own former spokesperson, try for kill your own family for ground zero. Which type of a person can support you, and thinking that you will take Ambazonia anywhere? Ambazonia should know 
that it is madness for anybody to carry Ambazonia in a situation where you want everybody to die for you to be the one man standing. That is a complete loss and delusional thinking that must end. Ambazonia should know that we are afraid to lose. If Ayabacho tell you he's not afraid to lose, it's because he has lost touch with the struggle of the soldiers themselves who are on ground zero on a day-to-day -day basis struggling to survive, struggling to sustain the fighting. He has lost touch with the people in ground zero who have bear the brunt of this war and the consequences of their partisanship that have allowed our soldiers to magnify excesses that should have stopped long ago. In fighting, branding of groups that have led to soldiers killing of each other. Groups want to own groups, own soldiers, instead of establishing principles that will guide forces amongst all groups in unison. They have promoted partisanship that have isolated soldiers from critical education, critical understanding of the logic of war that would have prevented the excesses that we have seen in Ground Zero. Ambazonians should know one thing. The greatest nightmare we have is not about being afraid to lose. Because if you are not afraid to lose, first of all, it means that you have some mental problem. When people are dying like this, you are not even thinking that La Republic du Cameroon can win. Because anybody who tell you, tells you he's not afraid to lose, it means it's somebody who does not even think about the prospect that La Republic can actually win. Because they can win. When we start killing ourselves, when we start attacking our own people, kidnapping our own people, transforming a liberation struggle into a competition of which camp can receive the highest money. Soldiers are now competing to position themselves not to fight, but to collect money from ground zero. The interest in brasseries or whatever law we put is now being focused on how much money can get will determine what pro policies will be received, will be pushed forward by the soldiers on the ground. The greatest nightmare I have and our people have is to lose this war. If for Ayabacho you are not afraid of losing, then you, are lo you have lost your mind. You don't know what is going on on the ground. You don't know the suffering our people are going through. If La Republic wins this war, we don't finish. If Rundi can sing songs, say suffer, don't finish. The suffer way don't start during this war. The prophecy of Honor Weber that we don't want to be a captive people. We are not a captive people. That should be the nightmare of any Ambazonia. To make sure that we do everything possible not to lose this war. If you are not afraid to lose, it means you want to take risk to lost. No. We are dealing with the life of our people and we must be rational. Because of these irrational behaviors, we have lost the greatest opportunity we had to secure victory for our people or at least to have the maximum ability to secure the goal of independence. Today, the issue of outright independence of Ambazonia have been ruled out as a result of this madness. The international community have actually eliminated certain possibility and have communicated that to us directly. The British government for the first time have even come out to tell Ambazonians that our country have been integrated in Cameroon. If that does not send a message to every Ambazonian, then we are in deep problem. Our greatest problem right now is our fear to lose because we are on a losing trajectory. As I speak to you, we are on a losing trajectory and it must change. We must change it. Anybody who do not know that the vast majority of our population have lost confidence in our prosecution of this struggle and have become isolated to the struggle itself and our forces themselves, then that person have lost their bearings or is out of touch with reality. I want you people to listen to me and listen to me very carefully. For anybody who do not know, the actions of our soldiers are only as good as our people's rejection of La Republic du Cameroon forces and their administrators and whatever drama they are doing. Listen to me again carefully. The goodness of the actions of our soldiers is only as good as our people's rejection of La Republic du Cameroon administrators, their soldiers, and whatever nyama nyama they are trying to do. So long as our people are now tolerance or are tolerance of La Republic, they are even mingling with them. And La Republic is even trying to come back with some projects here and there 
then the actions of our soldiers are minimized and we must know that we must act in a way that motivate our people to reject la republic every time our population can sit and say that la republic even better then we have lost this war we should always know that that should be our guiding pendulum in everything we do once our population are isolated and they are shrinking they now start to distance themselves from the struggle and say nada una thing in everywhere you go that should be the pendulum that guides anybody who have a heart for our people once a leader forget about the people and things because you own one force that you don't even own then that leader have lost his mind the war is about the people their desire their collective resilience is not about just speeches it's not about just actions so why dr chua yaba can say that he's not afraid to lose this war because after all he's living comfortably in norway and uh, maybe he have no intention to go back home but some of us we want to be able to go back to our country for some of us the majority of our people wants to go back to our country want to be able to live in our land and we plan to do so so we don't plan to lose this war we don't plan to risk losing this war we plan to win this war and if we are unable to win this war because that is a possibility then we must have an obligation to preserve a pathway to independence we must do that for those that losing is an option they will have this conflict and this is a conflict that have been in the background for a long time there are people that losing this war is an option there are people that losing this war is not an option and i'm one of those people we cannot lose this war we cannot afford to lose this war a total loss scenario is suicide some of us if we have to totally lose this war it's better for us to die because we cannot even bear seeing our people going through a complete assimilation by la republic we cannot even bear it in our mind so we have to do everything possible that we do not lose this war losing this war is not an option we have three options in front of us we either lose we either win or we either preserve a pathway to in independence by securing one of the options that are designated to our territory as a trusteeship territory which is independent or self governance that preserve the statehood and manages our population as a sovereign people whatever the case anybody who have losing this war as an option or have contemplated losing this war as an option you should run away from that person as soon as possible and anybody that goes around trying to assassinate other ambazonians like dr cho ayaba have tried to do to me and go out to blackmail people who are working for ambazonia tirelessly calling them la republic to cameroon designated them for killing run away from those people so my party the acts and say but capo daniel make your group me be public my group is already there the organization is there and is working tirelessly we don't need to be doing things to just project things to people this is not propaganda where you have facebook um, uh, stickers every day here and there repeating pictures up and there <laughs> up and down no this is bigger than that this is bigger than that we don't have to cover up our own insecurities by surrounding ourselves with people just for so surrounding ourselves with people's sake we are in a mess we did for instance poto poto any man where you want begin wear monkey coat begin work and begin behave like poor beer make them begin go but that direction will only end the same way where poor beer is we are in a big mess we need people who have a heart for the people we need people who put our people first like general ivo those are the type of people we need general hassan i know go call the one the way they are alive today because maybe if i call and they will start became plan for take away that one then too we must do everything humanly possible to secure our people progress tangible progress in their sovereignty their right of self-governance that safeguards their independence that preserve their independence because losing everything is not an option doing the same thing repeatedly with an illusion that you can win an outright victory which is not attainable is madness
Kapo Daniel signing off looking out for you